Good evening, my wonderful YouTube friends and buddies and and fellow peeps and awesome peeps and great peeps and new and old and all that wonderful jazz. Holding on, I need to bring up somebody. Hello, hello. <laughs> wakey, wakey, where's in shine? <laughs> <laughs> I sent it to you a couple of days ago. How are you doing tonight? I'm I'm doing I'm doing it's 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 up loading still. Oh really? Well, that's good, I guess. I, I know StreamYard is um. It's been really weird. It pops in and pops out, and uh, some people have been having trouble listening uh hearing others i was watching jacks jackson one and jess this afternoon on jacksy's live okay and she kept popping out and she'd come back in and you could see her but you couldn't hear her wow so, then, so i i don't know what stream whether it's stream yard or well at first it said that i didn't have enough space on my phone and i'm like what are you talking about I've got like a hundred and something gigabyte memory card in there. What do you mean I don't have space? I'm like, anyway, so I had to go and delete a couple of things. And I did. And ah, it's uploading. And so it's there. It's there. It's coming up. It'll be there. This is the, um, the one we did today. Well, the one that's uploading today. Let's see if I can get her to show properly. Oh, you did another one. Oh, that one's pretty. Yeah, I did that it in the aqua color with the sparkle uh, finish on the bottom. Uh huh. And the aqua ribbon. That's it's really pretty. Sparkle in it. And so that's the one that I did in the video. That's the first one that I made. This is the second I one. Now, I have no idea why this one is bigger or heavier, but A, eh? what can I say? I am going to use um, bamboo patterns, bamboo and silk. Okay. I have a, a, a spool of it, I guess, or well, I don't know what you call this, but um, oh. it's bam bamboo and silk. Nice. And then I'm going to use green for mine. Okay. See, I used aqua on the second one. Well, the one that I did in the video that's uh -huh. uploading. I'm like watching it flashing over there. So hopefully it'll be up there and be available for everybody. It'll be there at just the right time, Bev. You know, but um, Jim. Welcome, Michelle. Jiminy Crickets is all I got to say. Yes. Welcome in, Michelle, Miss A.K.A. Yarny Disaster. Happy Resurrection Day, my friend. Thank you for the compliment. Um, I got to tell you, there are a lot of stitches in there. As you're going around the skirt. Um, so... If you're thinking it's one of those one-hour projects, it's not. Just <laughs> Fooled you. I'm just saying it's not a one-hour project. Um, it will most likely take you about three to four hours to complete her. Really? Yeah. Because there's a lot. I mean, she's she's got it's a... really ruffly. She's like seriously like... Oh my goodness. Oh. You know what? I thought it was. I just like showed it. underneath their skirt. Shame on me. <laughs> She's really roughly. So I, I thought it was more like a doily, but it's no, more like very, one of those bed dolls. Yeah. She's very roughly and. She's very pretty. I cannot see anybody wanting to use that as a dishcloth. No. But um, I can definitely see it adorning 
something. <laughs> well, it's definitely a kitchen angel. You know, it's, a lot of people have oh, some kind of an angel in their kitchen to That's protect it. It them. Be a kitchen angel, or you can just an angel in your bedroom. You can put her anywhere. It's an angel. At the end of the day, she's an angel. <laughs> and I am assuming, Michelle, that you are LOLing because I went, oops, I just showed up her skirt. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. Anyways, so she is done. She is loading. It looks like it's going relatively fast now. I don't know. We'll see what happens. In the meantime, it is resurrection day, holiday, holiday, good times. Tell me so why it's resurrection Saturday. Well, resurrection, it, it's, it, well, because I'm live on Saturday instead of tomorrow. Ah, okay. Okay. So I'm saying resurrection day. Um, even though technically in a couple of hours it will be tomorrow. So, you know, hey. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's still, he is risen. And he is at the right risen end. Indeed. He is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and um, my the brother of my story and uh, my Savior and my salvation, my everything. My everything. So, how is Michelle doing tonight? Are you working on something special, Michelle? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna yawn. Oh, no yawning. No, no. I'm following I'm I'm following suit with um Miss Kitty Cat. She's oh. pretty she's pretty bored with me. It was like you paid attention to me and then it was like you got all busy and now you stopped paying attention to me and now I'm not happy. <laughs> That's a cute pink collar she has. I like that. I do too. She's spoiled. Yeah, she was groomed and she was just loving it. She just she just seriously loves to be combed and brushed and it's like you should see her just leaning into it. It's hilarious. Like, I liked it when she put her bumped her head into yours. <laughs> she does that. That, was, that that's a, a, a show of love from a cat. They don't do that automatically. Yeah. And you know what she did last night? And I was lying there, and my heart was racing. My heart was racing. Um, my old buddy, uh, Clyde, Sir Clydekiss, used to always curl up into this section of my body as I was sleeping. So he was always in here, and he would be on his side so I could rub his belly. Last night... For the first time, she came up to that area of my body and laid there for a bit while I was petting her. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, she's up here. She's not by my feet. She's not behind my legs. She's right up here. Right where and, she belongs. And... um. I mean, she stayed up there for a little bit, and then she went back down towards, like, my feet, um, you know, and, and stayed there. But she just, like, oh, my gosh. You found out that you, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Okay, do I need to put you down? Do I have you already down, Miss Miss Michelle? Do I, do I, do I, do I? Do we have you in the prayer book? <coughs> Excuse me. Michelle, I don't know about the, the study of the journey, Afghan. Michelle, let's see. Do I have Michelle in here for prayer? Michelle, do I have you in here for prayer? <coughs> um, yes. Another? Yes. On the 16th, trouble walking. Yeah. Persistent chronic pain, mental health associated with it, and lack of sleep. Yes. <gasps> Okay. Um, depending on the back surgery, Michelle, 
depending on the back surgery, I'm also going to put down and possible back surgery. Michelle, what have they told you about it? Have they given you the pros and cons on the surgery? Usually they don't give many guarantees on surgeries. Is it is it like an infusion? Is it like an infusion of the joints? Is it like a filling in of the joints? Uh, what, what exactly are they planning on doing, uh, Michelle? Because I was told before they would even consider uh, doing surgery on my back, which is not something that they would want to do to begin with, uh, because they keep saying it is not doable. It is not doable. Uh, they said, we'll fix the hip first and we'll see what that does. So have they told you anything about it? What kind it is? It would be like an infusion, a filling. Uh, what I marked, I marked that down um, and possible back surgery. And I'm going to put question mark guidance with regards to that. Okay, Michelle. Hey, Kiki. Hello, Miss Kiki. Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. You're on home. Hello, <laughs> sweetheart. For a moment there, I thought she said she was on the roof. I was going to be say careful that. driving. <laughs> I need another surgery. You already had girls. <coughs> no, shots only help for a little while. It's not a permanent solution, that's for sure. Oh, I love you too, Miss KK. Drive safe. And happy Easter, sweetheart. Oh I love God. you so much. He's risen, KK. He has risen. Praise the Lord. We are celebrating a risen Savior who died for our sins and gave us life. Is that not the most awesome holiday ever? Well, that and his birth, of course. You know. You better be praying because somebody yeah. put me up there. <laughs> Yes. Uh, by the way, my dishcloth um, pattern is loading. Oops. Okay. Hold on. Bear with me. I think my phone went off. I need to double tap her again. Oh, no. Oh, don't do this to me. No. I will show you the second of five giraffes. This is the brown giraffe. And he also has a... Oh, my God. I'm going to let people choose which one they want, but I'm making five so that nobody feels like they got the last one. They're stuck with it. They'll still have a choice. It is cute. This one doesn't have, he has a tail and has all of his um, body parts. But I don't have his mane and I don't have eyes. I'm really considering putting buttons on for him. Oh, dear Lord, no. But you know, the Amish don't put any faces on there, so. Okay, I'm going to have to pay attention to that. Aggravated. Oh, aggravating. It didn't upload. It said upload failed. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, it is pretty. That one is made out of um, neon stripes, Red Heart Super Saver neon stripes. And then I've got this one. And this one is uh, Mexicana. Hi, Melanie J. Welcome in. On his head. All right, guys. It said it failed. I'm going to, after I come oh, out of the live. Oh, no. I'm, once I come out of the live, I'll go back in and. Oh, try Bev, it. I'm so sorry. Try it again. I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. This is what it keeps giving me grief here, guys. It is there. I'm trying to get it there, but um, 
KK, uh, let me know what your question is. The video is uploading. It, well, it uploaded, but it said that it like failed to upload to YouTube. I'm going to get it there. It will be there tonight. But if you could, you know, like ask me in Messenger what your question is, I would appreciate it, sweetie. It is done, though. The video is done. She's up there. She's up there. I just got to get it into YouTube. She's just like, I'm telling you, man, it's not me. It's not me. That video is done. The video is done. It's done. It's, it's like done. I mean, I made a second one here. My first one was purple. That one is not. Okay. Let's go into prayer and thank the Lord for this wonderful evening and this wonderful holiday. Would you like to pray, Miss mm -hmm. Asir? Sure. Uh, thank you, Father, for bringing us together um, on this most holy weekend. We, we appreciate the blessings that you give to us, but greater than that, Father, we appreciate the sacrifice that you made to give up your son as a living sacrifice so that we might have a, a full relationship with you without fear and be able to come to you with with everything. Thank you, Father, for sending him as an example for us to live by, um, for teaching us how to live, how you want us to live. Father, um, may each of us take that seriously and not um, make it all in vain. And we thank you that tomorrow, when the stone was rolled back, Hallelujah. The, the tomb was empty. We thank you for that, Father. Praise your name. Um, watch over us tonight and um and make sure that we say all the things that we need to say and that the ears are open to hear all the things you want them to hear so that they'll at least take one grain of godly truth home with them tonight amen. i ask this in jesus name amen hallelujah and amen thank you lord and thank you miss c okay oh, you're welcome. the um scriptures that i marked in the description box for tonight um was in the book of Hebrews. Uh, the first one I'm going to quote is cha in chapter 10, verses 22 to 23. Now I'm reading out of the um, new NIV, what I quoted in the description box. Um, okay. Uh, uh, bear with me there, KK. Um, it's... Um, the one in the description box is King James Version. This is the NIV version. And it says in Hebrews 10, verse 22 to 23, Let us draw near <clears throat> to God with a sincere heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience, and having our bodies washed with pure water, let us hold unservingly to the hope we profess. For he who promised is faithful. And then the second verse is in Hebrews also, chapter 11, verses 1 to 3, because the... Um, Subject tonight is, what is faith? And we'll talk a little bit about that, but for now. All right. Hebrews 11, 1 to 3. Now, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith, we understand that the universe was formed at God's command so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. So basically, faith is the substance, uh, substance of things unseen. It is something we do blindly. They lived in a day where they walked and talked with him and were able to see him. We live in a day where we have to believe in him by faith and live by his word. That is what faith is. So,
materials. Mm -hmm. You know what? I used Premier. Okay, just to touch on that, um, KK, real quickly. I used um, Premier Home Cotton. And then I used the, I love this cotton. Um, it doesn't make a difference. As long as the weight is the same weight, you are good. Um, if you want us, uh, I find the peaches and cream cotton a little bit more, um, a little rougher and really good for like washcloths and stuff like that, um, which is like, you know, the purpose of this angel. Um, but like I said, for some reason, I don't see too many people using this angel really as a dishcloth. Um, whereas the premier and the, I love this cotton is just a little bit softer. And so is the prima cotton uh, softer. The important thing is, as long as it's the same size cotton uh, that you're using, that's all you need to know. It's, it's like the important thing. And I like, like, you know, I mean, this is how she turned out using uh -huh, the Premier, uh, Premier Home Cotton and the I Love This Cotton. So... I think, KK, personally, that if you're going to use it as a dishcloth, you're going to take it apart and use it as a dishcloth, um, it really wouldn't matter. You Probably the peaches and cream would be the better cotton because it would be tougher and rougher and, and more usable in your kitchen. But if you're just going to use her to, to put up in your kitchen as a kitchen angel or any other room that you choose to put an angel in, you could make it out of acrylic and it really wouldn't make any difference. Exactly. Softness. You could even, you don't even need to use cotton. I use cotton because it, it was marked dishcloth. Um, I might make another one using acrylic yarn just for the sake of making it because it's such a really pretty angel. Um, it, 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 it's just like really, she's really pretty. And uh, I have a thing for angels. So I may make one um, just for the fun of it out of an acrylic yarn. And we'll see what that, you know, what that does. Um, but this guy here that I finished tonight, including her halo, um, she, stands, she stands seven inches tall with a four weight, um, a four weight. And a four millimeter. So, I think if you used a a um, number eleven steel crochet hook, um, and a number ten cotton, Aunt Lydia's cotton thread, yeah, you could make miniature ones for your Christmas tree. You know. Yeah. She's really she she's just like really pretty. It's like so many different things that you can do with her. Um, that's the reason why I shared her. Um, I really wish that um, that stupid video wouldn't be giving me such a hard time. But I promise that video tutorial, somehow, even if it kills me. <laughs> I think it's StreamYard. It's StreamYard is having a lot of trouble. I will get that video out somehow some way tonight, even if it's the last thing I do. So um, when I close down my live tonight here, I will go back to trying to get that loaded where I could pay attention to it so I can get it up there because, I mean, geez, like, you know, I promised it on Thursday and I've had nothing but problems with it since then. I know, Beverly, but it may not be the angel that rolled the stone away it may be the angel that notified the shepherds on the hill i love you hopefully it will upload by christmas okay <laughs> i know i'm not worried about it it's just you know i promised something and i am really I really am trying 
very hard to, to, I mean, I couldn't show you my phone. It says failed. And I'm like, oh, no, it was going and going. And then all of a sudden it said it failed. And I'm like, oh, come on. You got to be you kidding me. You can't do anything about things that are beyond your control. You've done your part and now you just have to wait. But I did put it in the community uh, post uh, a picture of the instructions. Um, there's one part that's a little complicated on it, which is those post stitches and where you're supposed to slip stitch behind and into in order for the wings to come out properly on both sides. So, um, yeah, you will. You will definitely get it when it loads. That's for sure. Yeah. And it will. I'm working on it. Uh, in the meantime, the written instructions are there. Anybody who would like me to send them a copy of the written instructions because I took a picture of it, I can send you a copy so you can even print it out and uh, try to do it from there. And um, in, the mean <clears throat> in the meantime, I will keep trying to get it loaded and uh, out. So, because I'd like everybody to be able to make this thing. I mean, this is ridiculous. So, you know. Okay. It is what it is. It is not for a lack of trying, that's for sure. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Definitely not for a lack of trying. And so, yeah. And you know what? It is Easter weekend. I know a lot of people were looking forward to um, possibly making that for the weekend um, in their free time, if they had free time. Um, I'm just looking for a free dinner. <laughs> Does somebody make me an Easter dinner? Uh, that's all right. You know, if I send you an email copy, you know, uh, it's referencing the book. It's referencing the, um, the pattern designer. I am not um, infringing on any uh, copyright laws here. Um, I've, you know, like checked into it. It's, um, it's in a book. Seriously. I mean, anybody could go and look it up, you know? So, hey. And if it is, I oh, think well. you can use it. I think you can share it, but you have to give proper credit and you cannot sell it. I think that's, that's the it. two distinctions. That's it. So, you know, that I, that's exactly what I've done. I'm sharing how to make it. I've shared the book. I've shared the designer. It's all there. So, you know, I'm not um, stealing it. I'm not trying to resell it. I'm trying to share it and show other people how to make this beautiful thing. So trying very hard to show it. <laughs> <laughs> it is like, ah, I, I feel like um, Johnny Depp in Pirates of the Caribbean. And all I want to do is go, arg, arg, arg. You know, but hey, I'll put on my little pirate hat. That's funny because when I get upset about something, um, I revert back to the Coneheads. And Mrs. Conehead, she always goes, ee! <laughs> she has that funny, ee! <laughs> no! and, and I do that. And Elmo says, what now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like to say arg a lot. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, Grace has me. Yes. Yes. I mean, it's in the book for a reason to share, right? I mean, if somebody doesn't have that book and they wanted it, I mean, the whole idea is to share that pattern. So as long as you're giving credit due to where the credit belongs, I think you're good to go. Yes. So. That's my story. I'm sticking with it. Okay. Do zebras have really big eyes or do they have, I think they have bigger than 14 millimeter eyes. I think donkeys have big eyes. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Learn something new. There you go. And donkeys have big eyes. And donkeys have these big sorrowful so well i've got um i think these are 14s 
I think those she, would work. That would work. Those. Well, I think I want a little bit bigger one on this guy. If you have a little bit bigger, go a little bit bigger, but that size is good too. You know, they're all five going to be different anyway. So what's the diff, Biff? Hey, it is what it is. And what it is, it is. You know, that's, I think, what I love about uh, crocheting. And I love about God is when you crochet something, you, you can't do two the same. Exactly. It's very, no. very difficult. Whether it's two legs, two ears, two Oops. complete animals, uh, two okay. blankets. Seriously speaking, Miss C, same size hook, same size um four 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 weight cotton four millimeter crochet hook look at the difference in the size of the angels what did i do differently i have no idea one skirt looks fuller than the other well god doesn't make two people exactly alike either so, so we're in good company know. So, you know, no two come out the same. And you know what? I kind of like that about crochet, that no two come out the same. So I really like that aqua one. I might have to add her to my, um, to my uh, little angel collection. Okay. You have a collection of angels? I definitely do. I didn't know that. Yeah, I have like one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, eleven, twelve. I have twelve, um, twelve angels sitting on my dresser. Wow. Yeah, different sizes, different ones. Some were gifts. Uh, some belong to uh, somebody that very special. Uh, some I gave as a gift. That person passed away. It came back to me. So, yeah. I love I it. I like when that happens. You know, it's a sad thing at the time, but if you give a gift to someone and um, and upon their passing, you, you are gifted it back, I think it has a special meaning. It was given to my aunt who had uh, cerebral palsy. Um, and, um, since she was bur uh, born, she had, uh, cerebral palsy and, um, it was given to her. It holds candle so you can put a candle in it and it lights up and it's like really, really pretty. And when she passed away, I was asked if I wanted it back and it's like, yeah. So I took it back and the other one belonged and one of them belonged to my sister um, and, uh, that came to me and then some of the other ones were given to me as gifts from friends and people and stuff. So, yeah, I have a serious thing for angels. I always, welcome in, Denise Lee. yes, and welcome in. It's great to have you here. I do. I definitely have a very serious fetish for I don't worship or idolize them or anything like that. I just love angels. I just um, like to be surrounded by angels. So, you know, I mean, hey, heavenly host, angels. Right? The Bible says when we get to heaven, there'll be a host of angels encircling the throne, singing yep. holy, holy is thy name. Yep. So, you know, and he sends his angels to watch over us. So, oh my gosh, yes. You know, <laughs> angels are all over the Bible. And um, I believe very, very strongly in angels. Um, I wouldn't bow down and worship them because even they bow down and worship the Lord Jesus. So, um, yeah. KK, have you read the books by Frank, <laughs> the Left Behind series? 
That is that you know they have it written down on um, the left behind. They have it classified as uh, science fiction. Left behind. Yeah, the left behind series is classified as science fiction. Hmm. Talk about stupidity. <laughs> um, in the oh, the measly help. God sends down angels um, to watch over a church is the one that comes to mind right away because there's things going on within the church that um, that need God's help. And some the I think it's the pastor prayed. And so God sent a couple angels down and they're sitting on the roof of in, in the book. They're sitting on the roof of the church and um, he gives them. A dis he gives a description of the angels, and that what brought that to mind when you say mm. um, you like to. Oh, it, it just flew away. The depictions of male angels. Yeah, um, you you probably would enjoy that book if you get to the library. I'll 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 look in my uh, in my library and see. There's Denise a whole series of them, so I'll look and see which book it's in. And Denise said she watched an an, an amazing Easter play at a local church oh. um, on the life of Christ, and she said that they did a great job. Good, I'm glad. That is awesome. I, I think it's important that we remember it. So many people just oh Easter eggs and chocolate, you know, and that's as far as they get. No, not at all. Actually, last night I was watching um, movies on. I never seem to tire of these movies. You know, the life of Jesus and and um, the resurrection and the meaning of Easter. I mean, I just I just like keyed in to search. You know, um, Easter themed movies, and a whole bunch of them like you know popped up. So. I was busy watching a, a bunch of them uh, last night. And um, what a glorious way to fall asleep, man, is by watching these movies about, you know, our Lord and Savior. It's amazing. <clears throat> Why am I losing my voice again? <sighs> oh, my goodness. But, um, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do after I try to fix this uh, thing. Oh, and try to get it up there. And um, yeah. So what is everybody's plans for this weekend? Mine is to try to get a free Easter dinner out of somebody. <laughs> I don't believe you said that. <laughs> I want somebody to cook me an Easter dinner. Mm. Oh. Well, unfortunately, we always have ham for Easter dinner. And I don't think you eat ham. So. I do eat ham. What are you talking about? Well, hey, you're not kosher. No, I never <laughs> said that I was now, did I? I no, always you. admitted to being a very, very bad Jewish girl. I'm not a good Jewish girl. No. Beverly, you're a mess. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. Actually, my neighbor downstairs is cooking a ham. She's not sure if family is going to come or not because some of them are sick. So it's like, well, yeah, no, you can always share it with the neighbor. <laughs> Denise, I didn't know they made them into movies. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to have to look for that. Yeah. I can't think of his name. There's two men that wrote the books. Frank. I don't know. Denise, do you know offhand? I'd have to go and get the book. Books. Get, get. Gary. No, all I can think of is Gary Larson, and I don't think that's the one. <laughs> I'll tell you in a minute. With your in-laws. In Jerry, Be Jerry B. Jenkins. J Jerry Jenkins. And who's the other one? Tim LaHaye. Tim. Tim LaHaye. Yeah, Tim LaHaye. Where did I get Frank? I don't know. 
So one was Tim LaHaye and the other is Jerry, Jerry Jenkins. Jenkins. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for looking that up. Yeah. Me too. Very quiet weekend. Thanks. Very quiet. Very, yeah, going to be very quiet. Very reflective, very quiet, very peaceful. Hey, I'm just thankful to be alive and be able to celebrate his uh, resurrection. That's that, you know, um, Mr. John <laughs> 417 uh, dropped me off um, a chocolate bar on Thursday. And it was like a Kit Kat. Uh, cookies and something. It was like, oh my gosh, okay. And um, he said, this is your Easter chocolate. And I saved this. Uh, th this is the last one in my bag. And this one I saved for you. And I'm like, well, that's like really, really nice of you. Thank you. And then I had called him on Friday uh, to wish him a happy, I said happy Easter because he wouldn't have understood what I was, you know, if I said happy resurrection. Re Resurrection Day. Hey, Tank, welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy, have happy, happy, happy Resurrection Day. Okay. Um. Anyways, when I call to wish him a happy Easter and to thank him again for the chocolate bar and let him know it was really good, and I had to remind myself not to be a glutton and eat the whole thing all at one shot, um... We, it, it, it kind of opened up a dialogue because I had said to him, um, he, he really, truly, honestly is um, a sweet guy. He really is. Uh, when I gave myself food. What? I'm sorry. Say again. What is he? Is that the, the guy that I joke about, John 417, the one, uh, the, the, the scripture where it says, no, I don't have a husband. Yes, the woman at but the wall. But you just always, said he is really, really a a what? A sweet guy. He's a sweetheart of a guy. Um, he um, when I gave myself the food poisoning, um, he didn't want to see me sick. So, and he hadn't planned on going back out again, but he went back out again to buy me ginger up. I mean, this is just the kind of person that he is, and. We ended up having this discussion on Friday, and, and, I, and I told him, I said, you know what, sweetie? I said, you're not getting into heaven by good works. And he goes, what do you mean? And I said, just because you're a sweetheart and you do good things doesn't mean you're going to get into heaven. I said, that, like, you need to read the Bible, and I'm praying for your soul, my friend. I said, because you need to admit that you're, um, a sinner and accept Christ as your Lord and Savior and uh, live for him. And he got a little uncomfortable and he changed the subject and it's like, that's okay, because I'm still going to pray for your soul. And he just, you know, kind of chuckled. But he really, truly, honestly is a good guy. His name is John. So um, if you could pray for his salvation, guys, because this is... You know, add him to the prayer list for salvation because he he needs to be saved. If he is this much of a sweetheart now, could you imagine if Christ like seriously got a hold of his heart, what would happen? Hello, Bonnie, my love. Like seriously, could you imagine if he is this sweet of a person right now? Imagine after God does the heart surgery on him, what kind of person he would be. He'll be the same kind of person. He'll just be working for a different boss. You know, so yeah. And welcome in Miss Bunny's corner. Welcome in, <laughs> welcome in. It's great to see you here. It is really, really great to see you here. So... <laughs> It looks like an alien. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
No. Oh my goodness gracious me. All right, everybody. What? What were you going to see me see? He's going to be beautiful. What the Bonnie what? <laughs> He's going to be beautiful. Bonnie, he is a zebra. He just doesn't have his snout yet. Um, I just have to put his muzzle on. But he's going to be a zebra. He's a dinosaur vibes. <laughs> this one doesn't have his ears yet. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this one is complete. Oh my gosh, too cute. Oh my gosh. So he actually, he's complete. He can go back up here with um, this one. Too cute. Oh, too cute. There's Tank's Bonnie. <laughs> Did you ever see this little Bonnie? Oh my gosh, that is too adorable. Isn't that little? And look at the fluffy oh butt tail gosh, put on the him. Tail. Oh my gosh, that's too cute. Tank made me this. Now this is out of number thread, number 10 cotton thread. That's amazing. It is. It is amazing. I you love did, him. You did. <laughs> Make of a dinosaur. I need a trick pattern. That would be awesome. <laughs> there you go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, y'all. Ah. So KK, who's driving? Are you back home? What? Are you are you back? Are you driving? Who's driving? <laughs> you best not be talking and driving at the same time. You know, like the song goes, right? It's like keep your hands. Okay, keep your hands on the wheel and your eyes upon the road. Mm -hmm. I think that was a CCR song. Whoops. Oh, you're home. Okay, good. Chloe, flower is so beautiful. Yes. Yes. Very, very cute. Very cute. Okay, well, everybody... I am not going to keep you all tonight on Easter weekend. You've been home for a bit? Okay. I'm glad you're home safely. Yeah, well, she's home. So she was driving earlier, but now she's home, which is good. So, yes. Thanks. No, no, um, Susan, she was up on the roof for a while. Bailey put her on the yeah. roof. So. So that's, we had angels following her until she could get back in the window and take over the, take over the wheel again. But she's, she's home safely my now. Eyesight, I'm telling you, my eyesight is really going. <laughs> oh, no. No, don't be doing that. No. No, I did that last weekend. Thank you. We're good. What We're bunny? Good. Bonnie. Bunny, Bonnie. What, bo what bunny? <laughs> what bunny did you see before I did? <laughs> right. <laughs> the angels got her back in the window. <laughs> I think I need new glasses. <laughs> I think I need new glasses. Seriously. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You showed her, Chloe. Okay, there you go. Oh, this one? You saw this before I did, Bonnie? Uh -huh. well, you little stinker. Uh -huh. Yes, KK, the, the zebra pattern is, is very similar to the bunny. The body is the same. The legs are the same. The only thing that's different is the head. And it starts out the same till you get to row 12. So if you want to start that, you can. It's um, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, and then stop at 42. And um, the ears, the ears are different, of course. 
Okay. I love Chloe. Chloe and Seven sit right there together, and Seven okay. keeps an eye on Chloe. So just for everybody um, who came in uh, shortly thereafter, we are keeping Michelle uh, you, a.k.a. Yarny Disaster. Um, we, we added another reason to pray for her outside of uh, chronic pain, etc. is a wisdom with regards to possible back surgery. Um, so if you want to add that beside her name, uh, that would be amazing. And uh, Missy, are you going to go live tomorrow? Yes, I am. 12 noon. I know there probably won't be a lot of people there, but that's okay. Um, like Bailey said, I, I made a commitment and I'm going to keep, keep through, you know, go through with it. But I know that there probably won't be yeah. a lot of people there being Easter Sunday. I don't count on a lot, but. Yeah, people going for dinners and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a family day, you know, and if you have a family, that's where you need to spend it. It's it's only for old spinsters like me that don't have anywhere else to go. I'll, I'll be there. There you go. She'll have her hat on. Or yep. There you go. Be there with bells on. Oh, uh, that's what that was. Okay. Yeah, See, those are bells. Is that what that is? Bells? Yeah, those are bells. Those are like the bells in hotels that you tap and say, service, okay. service. See, see, they look like hats to me. <laughs> Yamakas. Don't they look like yarmulkes with a with the uh, a pom pom? Yeah, I can see keepers. that now. Oh my gosh, they're not keepers. <laughs> yeah, keepers with the pom pom. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tank says if she's awake, she'll be there. Hey, I gotta keep trying to get this thing to load up again. It failed, so you know. Hey. No kidding. I definitely Susan, do. if you need to sleep, you you go ahead and sleep. I won't you be offended. Do. And <clears throat> I will try to be there myself because I'm not invited in. Very anywhere. trying. And so, you know, we, we shall see. Oh, I want to go back to... Um, Uh oh, sorry. I apologize, guys. Uh, Melissa? Yes, it's Melissa that we're praying for. Uh, it seems like she is more than a yarny disaster. Her back is a disaster. Michelle. Michelle. Sorry about that, Michelle. Yeah. Um, she may need AKA, back surgery. Yeah, Michelle, you, a.k.a. Yarny Disaster. Yes. Yeah, she's more of a disaster than with her yarn. So, um, yeah. We need to pray for her. Yeah. For her pain and in I'm her back. Sure her. A lot of places here are, are open. These, these, they, they do all kinds of weird things here. It's like some places are open uh, yesterday and will be closed tomorrow um, or closed Monday or it's like always like one or the other. It's like very weird around here. And um, I think it's, it's Bill 63. Go check it out. Guys, this is a new bill that Canada wants to incorporate, which will totally take away the rights of um, anybody and freedom of speech, uh, especially if it's considered, um, you know, I mean, if you're talking against uh, homosexuality, for example, or something, um, if you're talking about the word of God, it's the same thing that's going to happen, but they want to pass a bill now. Okay, and before it even gets out, they could even possibly arrest you. So, and you can serve time anywhere from two years to life. So, yeah, go check it out. It's uh, pretty sad. And apparently, um, the United States tomorrow is, is celebrating something other than 
Resurrection Day. So, okay. Something I'm thinking I might go to the hospital. I'm trying to get enough. You're going to gonna, get, yeah, you're gonna get into trouble no matter how you look at it, any way you look at it. Uh, you can't you can't speak. You, yeah, no. And they're going to pass a bill against it. And if you're caught doing it, you can serve anywhere from two years to life imprisonment. Here in Canada, welcome to the freedom. <laughs> right. So this is what our world is coming to, y'all. Um, keep praying, man, because we didn't think they, oh my goodness gracious me, not good. So, not good. Okay. Yes. Bonnie's corner. Okay. You heard it again. She was coughing and hurt her back again. <sighs> yeah, if you, if you say anything about God, or I thought, too, it said something about um, gays and transsexuals, and you can't, you can't say anything against anybody, or else you could go to jail for that, too, in Canada. Yeah, and they're going to pass a bill. Yeah, I did hear that. I thought about you immediately. And I'm like, oh boy. And so pray for me, guys, that they don't come after me. Because <laughs> the next time I might be coming out of. <laughs> well, I'm day. going to pray for you because when you open your mouth, I never know what's coming out. So <laughs> hey. I'm really worried about you. <laughs> um, okay. I've, I've got you down for your back, Bonnie. I've got you down for that. I've got you down for your back. Yeah, Trudeau is, is um, I, I think he's going along with all of, well, I'm not talking politics. And it's not even my country, so I'm going to be quiet. Hey, it's my country. And you know what? I'm getting really sick of it, so. I listened today to an interview between Tucker Carlson and Kelsey Gabbard. Gabbard? And it was on Gabbard. I okay. think it's Gabbard. And um, it was on a three-letter news network. CBN? CBN, yes. How did you know that? Because I, I watch a lot of... Um the stories on CBN. They're really good. They're really good. I think it was CBN. Anyway, if you ladies get an opportunity to listen to that whole conversation, Kelsey Gabbard lays out exactly where we are right now and the dire circumstances that we are living in and the distinction between the haves and the have-nots. It was very, very eye-opening. There's my bubbling spring. Hello, sweetheart. How is your eye today, sweetheart? We've been praying for you. We love you. We miss you. We love you and miss you. We miss you and love you and, and, and all that stuff. Hello, my sister. Hello, hello, hello. And Bailey's gone stupid. <laughs> Someone else is new. <laughs> Ah. ah, all right. Well, how is your eye? Much better. Okay, good. Happy Resurrection Day, my darling. Happy Resurrection Day, my sweet sister. Yes, you have another appointment on Monday? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Good, good. Very Susan, good. I got a package in the mail. Okay. Just oh, wanting to let you know. Here. Oh, okay. Another appointment on Monday for you or the okay. horse, Spring. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. I gotcha, Spring. I gotcha. You're still in my prayers for your eye and 
Okay. That's one of the unspokens. Ah. We have spring down for a couple of things, and there's some unspoken. There's a few unspoken, so in addition to certain ones that she specified. So, Susan, you and Sherry were on the other night and said, wouldn't I be surprised? And um, I, I got her package yesterday, so I assumed it was from you also. Okay. Well, my dear ladies, I am going to um, say I'm going to put an end to tonight because I am going to make one more desperate attempt to get her uploaded without it failing because it's really starting to tick me off. So um, I'm going to uh, go and attempt to do that. And I'm going to let you all um, celebrate this wonderful, incredible um, holiday. Um, the video is coming out. It's just giving me a hard time. It's like, yeah, I'm going to go back to my phone and try to upload her again and see what the what. And get her up there finally. But um, she will be there at some point tonight, I hope. And if not, um, anybody that wants it, just ask me for the uh, pattern. And I will send you um, send it to you by email. Um, but I'm really hoping the video will upload. Um, in the meantime, I'm wishing everybody an amazing um, holiday weekend. And if you're getting together with family, I pray that you all enjoy the time that you are with your family. Welcome in, little Miss Lady Blue. It's nice to have you here. I'm glad that you popped in to say hello. Happy Resurrection Day. Um, I'm saying Happy Resurrection Day instead of Happy Easter because, I don't know, it just, yeah. It just sounds more like the reason we celebrate the holiday. And uh, soon Passover is coming. <gasps> Oi! It's a good thing I'm not kosher. Yes. Yeah. Because, because I eat leavened bread. And ham. <laughs> <laughs> and bacon and all kinds of stuff. Oh, oh. bacon, bacon, bacon. Yes. I am so glad I have opposable thumbs. I can eat bacon, bacon, bacon. That's what I wrote, everybody. Welcome into the Resurrection Day episode of Faith, Joy, Love, and Out and Blessings. He, he is has risen, risen indeed. And is sitting on the throne most high. Praise his holy name. So, love and hugs to all of you. You're off to cook. You go cook, sweetie. We love you. I will be praying for you. You had sausage for so Okay, yeah, no, that's like, I'm, I'm staying away from sausage. <laughs> that what did you in, Debs? That's what did me in last weekend. Uh -oh. so I'm staying away from that tonight. Um, but, you know, um, I will leave you as always, guys. Um, stay strong, keep the faith, keep fighting, don't give up no matter what you're going through. Um, and um, listen to the songs that's in the description box. I hope you enjoy them. There's some beautiful songs there. And I will leave you, like as always, with Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 to 26 and pray for every single one of you that the Lord bless you and keep you may he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you may the Lord turn his face towards you may he give you peace as you have this beautiful weekend celebrating his life until then everybody we will see you in those YouTube streets
pray that I get this uploaded, please, because I'm really getting tired of trying. And um, I'm going to try it one more time. And in the meantime, Missy, do you have any words? No. Just, just spend the weekend with the family that you have. And if you don't have a family, come spend it with me. There you go. There you go. And we will see you tomorrow at noon. If nobody is busy, come join Missy tomorrow at noon. And um, God bless you all. And uh, have a great weekend. Remember the reason for the day. Stay because inspired. Without, with, without that, we have nothing. We have nothing to hope for. Nope. If tomorrow is, is true. He is the reason. He has risen indeed. Yep. And he is the reason. So stay inspired. Love you all. Stay creative. Stay blessed. We love you all. And we'll see you again on these YouTube streets. God bless you all. And good night. Thank you for coming.